Uh oh. Uh oh, the gig is up. You and Carter are on your honeymoon. What's going to happen when your sister shows up and Carter realizes you lied to him? Yes, today we are back with the next part of The Masked Millionaire on the episode Choose Your Strip. If you have not seen the other ones, watch the playlist here. Go catch up on it. The last one was kind of cute because Carter and our character, they're really having moments. You know they really care for each other and Carter has really, really opened up. We saw his face. We saw his scar. We learned a little bit more about his backstory. And he wants to be with us, legit. He likes us. And we like him back. Except he married our sister. So he still doesn't know yet that it's not the person he married. It's our twin. This is messy and we're going to see what happens, but please go read the amazing author or great tea stories on the episode app. They are amazing. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. How exciting. Both of you were long overdue for a honeymoon into a ski resort, no less. It's not a honeymoon. We're going there for Mr. Knight's work. Never forget when Mr. Knight wanted to build us a stable and do all this stuff, but we don't know any of those activities. And he wanted to do the business part. And, but we aren't savvy with business. That's our sister, not us. Plus it's not just the two of us. Gray's going to, that's okay. That's not what I heard though. I overheard Mr. Knight's conversation with Ivy. He told her to make sure his schedule is clear. He also has us prepare a wardrobe for your man to get away. I'd like to try on something plain at this point because y'all ain't gonna fool me. Y'all ain't fooling me with this. Okay, so I want... Where's my wardrobe that I purchased? I want to wear that wardrobe. Are you sure about this, Mr. Knight? We're pushing back the meeting with Ireland and there's the preparations for the opening. Ready to go? It can wait. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, what a beautiful little resort. We got the hot tub up here. We have this whole place to ourselves. It's our honeymoon. We're sharing a room, right? Again, it's our honeymoon. We should check out the skating rink. She's getting nervous. We should not have checked out the skating rink. This is my first time very carefully. You got this. You got, I've never, have I done ice skating? I've never done ice skating. I don't think I can barely rollerblade. So if I got on that ice, I'd be on the ground. Not too bad. But can you do this? No, no, I can't, sir. Neither can she. Are you okay, kid? Oh, are you hurt? No, but I'm scared. He's scary. Talk to her gently. There, there. There's nothing to be afraid of. It's working. Where are your parents? <laughs> the way he leaned it, where are your parents, kid? She's crying even harder. Monster. He's not a monster. Why are you scared? But the mask. And he's angry. He's not angry. But he's not smiling. I feel so bad for Carter right now. He's goofy. There's nothing to be afraid of. He's no monster. Really. Cross my heart. In fact, we'd like him to teach you how to skate. You can try asking him nicely. Can you help me, please? I don't know how to skate. Carter would be okay with that, right? I have a better idea. Hop on. Okay, so things are turning good again, again. Sweetie, there you are. These people... Do you not have manners? Where are your manners? Mask. Girl, it's a mask. Even if you're like, oh, what, what's that going on? Keep it to yourself. Shh. Silence is golden. He's nice, mommy. I'm sorry I called you a monster. Thank you. Yeah, why don't you get out of here, Pepper? Bye. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? That was so cute. Gush over him. That was so cute. Do I deserve a little reward for that? Shall we? I took his hand. <laughs> we'll do a little ice skate, though. Carter's big and warm hand was a stark contrast to the chill lingering around us. As if it was the most delicate thing he ever held, Carter placed his hand protectively on the small of my back. Careful. I leaned into him as he guided us across the rink. Okay, now we're we're dancing. We're going. We're we're dancing. We're skating. Is there nothing he can't do? 
every time I wrap my arms around him, I'm in awe of how sculpted his body is and how he's all mine. Well, uh, remember the chapter description. I'm not sure it's going to keep going this cute. Gray, watch out. Oh, Gray, he wanted to be with us. He, oh, she went in. She's like, mm, she took a little smooch. He hugged me and took the brunt of the fall. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, it's as we watch the snowflakes fall, I pray this moment would never end. I'm, ha I'm really enjoying their happy moments. I really am on a beautiful night like this that calls for have some bubbly champagne. I'll have someone bring that. We're probably going to need some champagne for what's about to happen. May I? He draws a shaky breath before giving me a hesitant nod. I feel so bad for him that he's so self-conscious about his scar. It, he looks so handsome. How do you look at me with those eyes? How do you stand looking at it? I can't even bring myself to look at it in the mirror some days. Oh, I want him to know that. Let him have a moment. He needs his moment. There must be something I can do to help you see it the way I do. What if we tried conditioning you? How would that work? Every time you remove your mask, I do this. Oh, I tiptoe and plant a soft kiss on his scar. I'm not a child. I don't need kisses. You don't have to put it that way. But we can try replacing the bad memories from the scar with good ones. He places his arms on my hips and pulls me close. So why did you stop? But I think I can get behind that. Will you really do it for me? All right, all right. Leave it to me. I promise to remind you how beautiful it is every time. Where have you been, Natalia? What if we try being someone we're not? Right now, you're not the mass millionaire and I'm not Natalia. You can call me Natasha. Natasha, isn't that your sister's name? I've always preferred her name. Can you try calling me that once? That must sound straight to him. Why did I even ask him to do that? I guess I just wanted to hear him call me by name once. Natasha. Natasha. I'm surprised he hasn't figured it out. I literally thought he figured it out at the altar. Hypothetically speaking, what if you murdered my sister instead, Natasha? That's a very strange question to ask. Humor me. What did you think of my sisters when you took her hand in the garden that day? Honestly, I didn't know twins could be so different. While well, the first impression he gave me was grace and elegance, Natasha was intriguing. Her tactlessness was a breath of fresh air. But I stand corrected. You're more similar than I thought. In fact, I sometimes see her in you. But now I can't stop thinking about the woman who dares take my mask off and convince me she likes it. That's me, right? There's something I have to tell you. Did someone order more champagne? Someone's coming. Can I have my mask back? Sure. She's the room service. Sorry to interrupt your lovely evening, but here's a bottle of champagne you ordered. Enjoy. It's our sister. Natalia? Is something wrong? Here's the mask. Why are you acting like this? Where did she go? How have you been? It's been so long. I'm finally meeting Natalia again. I don't care about her. Now's not the time for this. What are you doing here? Dad canceled my credit card, so I needed to find a way to fund my travels. Working at a ski resort sounded like a great idea. Plus, I can hop on the ski mountains anytime I want. You ski? It's something I've always wanted to do. Ain't that fancy? Did you check who owns the resort? Life's too short to fixate over unimportant details like that. Who are you? I'm still Natalia. When dad forced me to marry Cardona, it really put things into perspective, you know. I wasn't ready to throw my life away like that. There's still so much I want to do and didn't get what I was holding me back. The fake marriage was a wake-up call. How did the wedding go? I haven't been keeping up with the news. Carter Knight must have been so mad. Natalia? Yeah? You dummy. Carter Knight? Natasha, what are you doing here? For now, you're Natasha and I'm Natalia. What? Are, 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 are. Just go along with it. It's nice to finally meet you, Natasha. Is it common for twins to mix their names up? I could have sworn you responded to Natalia. Ah, ha, 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 that's totally normal. I'd respond to Natasha sometimes and she'd respond to Natalia. What's going on? Why are you with Carter Knight? D does she not? D does she not? 
Tell me you did not. It's getting late. Let's talk tomorrow. You are not staying here with him. Why not? We're a married couple. Married? Nuh-uh, you're coming with me, Natalia. Now that that's cat's out of the bag, Natalia's gonna want to know everything, and I don't think I can stand her interrogation. Um, screw you, Natalia. I'd like to stay here, but I'll text you everything. But no one cares about you, Natalia. I'm sorry, wait a minute. What did she think was gonna happen? What did she think was gonna happen when she ran away? Did she just think the debt was going to be magically cleared? I thought she knew about this. I thought she already knew about this. Maybe I'm misremembering, but I swear she knew that we, like, married him in her stead. Maybe she didn't. What does she know? In okay, okay, let's move on. So it's between the two of us as Carter puts his arm around my waist. You have a lot of explaining to do. I text and tell you everything, how I took her place at the wedding, how I've been living as her. She bombarded with me questions, and I was left feeling completely drained after the entire confrontation. Here, I made you some hot chocolate. Carter Knight holding a cup of hot chocolate? Thank you. He gently scoops me up in his arms before spreading a blanket over us. I rest my head on his chest, and we sit like that in silence for a while. Never would I have thought I'd find myself seeking comfort in the arms of THE Carter Knight. Yet the crackling of the firewood and the warmth from his strong arms calmed the rising anxiety in my heart. You're not wearing your mask. You know what that means. Gotta have a kiss. I'm waiting for her to say something. There's a storm brewing. But in this moment, I'm in bliss. I saw your text and snuck over as soon as I could. This is absolutely insane. I'm telling the truth. I will eventually, but now it's not the time. Not when I barely earned his trust back after the mask incident. I'm so sorry, Natasha. Had I known Dad would force you to take my place, I would have never run away. Don't be sorry. Marrying Kurt isn't the worst thing in the world. Just your psycho boyfriend, too. You've fallen for him. And I saw that look he gives you to be smitten with you, too. Except I've been lying to him. I've been pretending to be someone I'm not. He's smitten with Natalia, not Natasha. It's just the name. It's not just the name. You're the perfect partner for him, not me. I know nothing about this world. He needs someone like you in his life, not me. Oh, stop this, Natasha. I want to test that out. Shall we go, Natalia? Sure. Does he know we swapped identities? Gray? Oh, where are we going? Summer Frost is doing a mini exhibition nearby, and I thought you'd like to check it out. Summer Frost, I love her works, especially her interpretation of the seasons and the way she uses mismatched colors. It's both unsettling and provoking at the same time. I know nothing. Just let them do the talking. They're getting along well, just as I expected. Would you like to come with us, Natasha? It'll help you confirm your suspicions. Sure, I'll just keep my distance. The fat great wants to be, he's with his mommy. He's with his real mommy. I'm undecided about this piece, thunderstorms in summer. I hate the rain and I especially hate the sound of raindrops falling. They're all smiles and giggles. I hate that I'm jealous of them, but I have to know what they're talking about. Uh, they're going to have a private moment because we know the tea. They're not going to be good for each other at the end of the day. What would you like to drink, Natalia? I can't decide, but I know it's most definitely not champagne. I hate that. Okay, that's enough now. I think I played along long enough. You swapped identities, didn't you? Oh, okay, okay. We're here. You're Natasha. And you're Natalia. If only he knew. The gig's up. How did you know? When did you realize? I found Natalia acting strange on morning, and I wondered if it was something I did, but the dead giveaway was when you said you hate the rain. Natalia loves it, especially the sound of falling raindrops. And you hate champagne, but Natalia loves it. Wow, it seems you know my sister better than I do. Why would you do that? I wasn't there on the day of the wedding, and I needed to know if you're right for my sister. My first impression of you wasn't the best. I found myself thinking back to the first time I met both of you. I think it's safe to say none of us were acting like our usual selves that night. If only you knew. It was nice hanging out with you, but I'd like to spend the rest of the day with my wife now. I stand corrected. He's not too bad. Also, I told you so, sister dear. He deserves to know the truth. The gals tomorrow and you're only telling me there's an issue with the guest list now? What's wrong? 
We invited the Myers to the gala, but Mrs. Meyer recently discovered Mr. Meyer was having an affair and they're getting a divorce. Oh, dear. Both insist on attending, which wouldn't be a problem, except Mr. Myers insists on inviting the woman he had an affair with as his partner. Gross. What would you do? If Natalia was here, she'd be able to give me some helpful insights. No, I can do this, too. What if we take back Mr. Meyer's invitation? Yeah. That wouldn't work. Oh, I knew it. Don't beat yourself up over it. Well, I tried. About working at my company. Has he seen through me? It's okay if you don't want to. You don't have to own a horse stable if you don't want to either. Instead, I know how much you love to write and I know a couple of publishers who'd be interested in your work. How does that sound? He notices the little things. I love it. But is that okay? Is it okay that I don't like horseback riding, socializing, or working at your company? Of course. But you married me because you want a perfect partner. I'm nothing like that. When I agreed to the contract, I also say that there'd be no romance or passion in this marriage. Yet look at us now. You are perfect. I love. I can't bring myself to say it until he knows the truth. He senses my hesitance. The Carter I know isn't the most expressive, but he takes my hand and guides it to his mask. I think it's working. I never thought I'd see the day I look forward to someone removing my mask. Would you like to hear the story of how I got the scar? I've never told anyone else, but if it's you, I think it'd be okay. Ooh, okay. Let's learn the story. My parents demanded nothing short of perfection on everything they did. Their business, their relationship, their child. Everything had to be perfect. And in the pursuit for perfection, they forgot that I was just a kid who needs his parents' attention. One day, some kid at school taught me a trick at the playground, and I wanted to show off, but it went horribly wrong. I landed on top of a sharp rock, and it dug into my eye. I'll never forget the excruciating pain and nauseating smell of iron, but you know what hurt the most? That the first thought came to my head was, moving all will care about me. That's so sad. It couldn't be further from the truth. The first thing I heard from my parents when I came to was, it's heavy ass. We mustn't let anyone see him like this. You are disgusting people. They don't deserve children. They don't deserve happiness, period. I was told to hide myself. Oh. And they just don't care. No matter how hard I tried to cover up my imperfection, I was now flawed. Everyone has their imperfections, and that's okay. Except you. You're perfect. I'm not. I'm not Natalia. Is this another prank? Do you really think I can't tell between you and your sister? Oh, no, I'm not Natalia. My sister Natalia ran away on the day of the wedding, and our father had me replace her. I'm Natasha. Oh, dear. (laughs) 